massive amount of numbers of planes here. I bought this airplane and I bought it for my studio, Air Hollywood. You kidding me? You bought a 777 just like that? Yeah, we did. 777-200, Maryland then airline. I think I just got a call from the cabin staff. <laughs> yes, hey, yeah, this is Anthony. You saved one airplane out of here and bring them alive for many more people to enjoy. What's up guys, I'm back to Victorville, the airplane storage graveyard. Here is Huey with me here. Hey guys. We're gonna see something very special today, Huey, right? What are we gonna see? We're gonna see a 777 cockpit cut. Triple seven cockpit. We're putting it together right now. We're gonna take it out and we're gonna take it to our studio. It's part of Air Hollywood. Here we have seen um, they already cut one side the carpet. Now they move to the other side to continue to cut the carpet. And the guy is using the chairlift to go up and down. It's not a very easy job actually. The guys using a steel TS3800 to do this cockpit cut. He's up on the platform with the forklift. As soon as he's done cutting the outside, he's gotta go on the inside and meet all the cuts to get this off. And then you'll see us peel it away from the aircraft. Uh, we're gonna use our big forklift with the big strap and we'll hook it all up and lift it straight out of the aircraft and onto the floor. How long the whole thing will take? Uh, it's probably about an hour, hour and a half away and we'll be done. So now he's doing the last cut on the nose and then he'll go inside and do his last cut. The outside cut is done. Now it's the difficult part. We gotta go inside and finish the cut. How you doing, Mike? Hot. Did you hear him? He said we're heavy. <laughs> I can't believe it. He said that we were, we're heavy? heavy. Oh I my mean, gosh. I'm only, I'm only 200 pounds. Okay, so you gotta be real careful, okay, Sam? Uh huh. Hold on to the side arm there. Hold on to the side arm. Yeah, Watch that hole. Okay, we're gonna hook this up first, okay? This strap. All right, made it. Whoa, look at this inside now. What happened, Captain? What happened to your 777? Oh, it looks so different to last month. All gone. Now it's gonna be a set. It's gonna be a movie set. <laughs> wow, big change inside here. He's already got all, oh, the, yeah. all the all the cut done. This is already cut. Yeah, I can yeah. see a hole here. And then he's so, gotta do the floor. He's gonna do the bottom. You need it? And then he's gotta go underneath the the cockpit and meet all the cuts underneath. That's the hard part. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'll hold Make it. that slack. Make that slack even. Make this slack even, Steve, please. So right now the guys are running the, the strap to hook onto the forklift so that way when he's done with his last cuts they'll be able to lift it off the aircraft. All that's left is insulation and wires. Everything else is all gone. What are these stuff? These wire hang out here. Uh, these are to all the these wires here are all to the PSUs. A uh, PSU. And the lighting that's on the bins, on the overhead bins. Uh, nobody want to take them, huh? Still here. No, no, they'll go to the recycling center somewhere. So the wall panel on the 777 has been taken off. So you can see what's inside, like really, really wide when everything's taken out of the 777. All the interior is taken out, the wall panel, the ceiling, and it's just bare bones here. Now I'm showing you this pressurized bulkhead here. 
but this is also my first time seeing behind those wall panel the uh, interior and this is the uh, pressure tail section the tail cone section of the triple seven usually there's a galley here and behind the galley then that's the tail and so it's very interesting to see after everything all the interior has been stripped off Sam, I found a tray, but there was no tray liner. He took them last time. That's I, why no I, more tray liner. I think so. That's why I left it over right now. That's well, it's it. a lot, but uh, you know, oh my gosh. Yeah, we're ready to meet the cut and let's uh, lift this bad boy off. Get it off. All righty. Get it done. He's on the other side. Oh, so he's already cut the, the left. Let's get started on this side. Okay, let's go. He's gonna wrap around and come around. I'll follow you. He's basically cutting the part that you couldn't reach. Yes. You were cutting outside, but it's not deep enough? Yes. Right now, um, as you can see the cuts from the outside and uh, all the way up to the front deck, it goes all the way through. Uh, some spots I couldn't reach with my blade, so my guys in the front nose right now coming around meeting the cuts. And usually there's more to uh, just cutting the aircraft because as you can see the main uh, structure of all the rivets right there where the, where the uh, ribs connect, I like to go below it, which makes it easier and faster on meeting the cuts, which we can lift this off like no problem. Well, after about an hour's cutting, um, now they're about to lift the cockpit up and take it out. So we're just waiting that to happen now. So we're just waiting. They're doing a little bit more cutting and then the whole thing will be lifted. That's it, we're all done. Mike did a great job on the cut. Now we're gonna load it on top of the van. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> great job. Yes, Thank sir. you guys. Thank we're you for showing me. Right really, really sad to see the cockpit just came out like that. And now the airplane is left like this. It's like without a heart and the airplane for sure won't be able to fly again. Um, really, really sad, but uh, that's the end of the line. Stay safe, kids, and don't do this at home. Daryl, Daryl, you go down, yes. Welcome to Air Hollywood. You were with us when we cut the cockpit in the desert. Now we're doing the final touches to it and see how we're gonna film on real cockpit on, in the movie. The world's safest airline for sure. Only $3? That's cheap. LAX is $5. You remember Captain Auto? This is the original cockpit. This is like my grandfather's luggage. Wow. This is Air Hollywood Terminal. Oh my God. This is the only airport I can come through security check in the breeze. Now I'm gonna bore on my flight. The Wolf of Wall Street was filmed here. We also did Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. The average seat here is a first class seat. Of course, the most important room is the bathroom. 
Talal, tell me the code, man. I need to get into the carpet. C O V I D 19. Yes. Opened. What? There's no carpet. 